Welcome back to another episode of Just One Fern. Just Lucas and I today. Uh, we got a really good episode for you today. A lot of just random things that we're going to throw at you. But I mean, that's not really different from any other episode that we do. You're here for the random stuff. So jumping right into what happened to me quickly this week, Lucas. Um, I went to the gym yesterday. Nice. Um, walked into the gym. Just a, yep. an old naked man just airing it out. Just right there. Immediately. Immediately. <laughs> I mean, I didn't even I didn't even turn the corner yet. To like see the rest of the locker room, boom, dick and balls, oh, no. right there. Oh, <laughs> and I was like, oh no. I mean, and I tweet, <laughs> my tweet is doing really well. I said the what confidence of a seventy-year-old man in a YMCA bathroom is just unbelievable. <laughs> just they, they are the most confident people on earth. Was he in shape? Uh, for his age, yeah, yeah. He wasn't. You know he wasn't like a fat dude. So like. How low were the how low were those balls I, hanging? I didn't even check. I was like, quick, oh no. Cause when you walk as a normal human being, you mm. you're looking down. Like, come on. You're not especially oh, you- especially at the gym. I'm not looking around, right? I'm not like looking around, yeah. like just glancing at everybody working out because I don't want people looking at me when I'm working out. So right. my head is down. I'm walking in. And of course, my head's already at that angle when I'm walking in the locker room and just boom, there it is. Gorgeous. Boom. Gorgeous. So now was he clean cut? Um, th- does this th- do you think that uh, does he take care of his pubis? <laughs> uh, I think so. I think he's I, he's clearly has confidence, so he knows how yeah. to prepare himself for uh, the other men in the bathroom to see. But like, I walked in and I'm by my I'm by my locker, and I just like I'm stifling a laugh, <laughs> just like don't don't fucking laugh right now because this is so funny. <laughs> it was just so bad because everyone else understand. and everyone else in the locker room could feel it. like we were all just like, oh, no, like, of course, uh, this is happening right now. Like, <laughs> I just want to go work out. And this is it. What are they doing naked? Well, I don't get how how what are they, how can I they be naked that long? don't know. And like, aren't they the generation that's like so insecure about their like sexuality and masculinity? Yeah, like, why right. are you just full blown? Maybe naked they're in the so far room? on the other end of the spectrum. They're like, I. I cannot, no way. I am so sure about not being who I am that <laughs> I will allow myself to confront it. Maybe. I mean, it's so, it's crazy. No, you're right, though. Why are they choosing to air dry over towel dry? Like, what are you doing? <sighs> and also, why uh, people who shower at the gym just don't make sense to me. Like, unless you're at like a really, really nice gym that you pay a shit ton of money for, mm-hmm. why are you showering at the gym? The YMCA, you said, right? Yeah. Well, this was at this was at Planet Fitness. I said YMCA okay. because people. That's much funnier. It's much funnier. Yeah. Yeah. Planet Fitness. Try try fitness image of an old man's dick in your head. <laughs> and I ask everybody. I really right try now. that. No, don't do that. Don't do that. But it was it was just like, why does this happen? And it, like, why are you doing this, man? Like, come on. God, you're ruining I, people's day. Ru- Maybe he takes pride in that. Maybe he's like, I just want to ruin highlight. some kids' days today, and I, so I'm it must be, be like a rush for him. <sighs> they see everything, and I just I'm hiding like, nothing. I don't. Here's here's the thing that blows my mind. Like I told you, I said I like barely. I turned the corner and just it was there. Mm. Literally one corner, like differentiates between you getting arrested or not like <laughs> why is that yeah you know what if he was Come if on. he was in the if he was in the planet fitness mm-hmm. he'd be arrested for he'd sure be arrested for easy but the fact that he was just in a different room <laughs> i think we should put men on it he can just whip <laughs> out put his a dick. mirror you need to put a mirror so that way if you look <laughs> We get him to the men's room. We get him caught. Like we catch we, him. <laughs> we catch him. I talk with every other person that goes to that Planet Fitness room. <laughs> Listen, we have to get him out of here. It's got to go. We, we have to send Harold to jail tomorrow. <laughs> and everyone will be like, yes. He's got to go. I'm on board. Yeah, I'm on everyone board. Everyone knows. Everyone knows him, too. Um, but yeah, Is he always bad. there? Have you seen him there before? Yeah, but I've never seen him full-ass naked. So, like... Just, this is your first time I feel time like I'm, I must have missed him every time, you know? Miss Lucky. I know. I've gotten very lucky. It's a matter of time. <laughs> I could just feel like when I'm walking in there, like, guys, like, I get this every day. Like, you know, like, you can see it <laughs> in some of their eyes, just like, I, I've seen his, his 
package too many times. So <laughs> at this point, I might as well subscribe. Like that's what, <laughs> that's what happened. Yeah, you know what? This guy, this guy needs an OnlyFans. Yeah. Is what he needs. <laughs> an OnlyFans. Clearly... Harold's OnlyFans. <laughs> watch, watch me air dry in my nutsack. <laughs> Why is he's German? Watch it dry out. Is that German? I think. Watch it me air dry my nut sack. I was going for the <laughs> like New York. That was. I mean, I don't think that was it at all. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that was the nicest way I could put that. No, was, yeah, you've you've been, you've been harsher on me, so. I <laughs> <laughs> just I don't feel like that was that was it. Um, nut sack. A nut, nut sack. sack. I mean, kinda. Yeah. You do it. A nut sack. You have to you have to get your gill fries on. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you, know. you got a bit more of that that vocal no, fry. Which I'm damn sure, you know. But um, right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Harold's OnlyFans uh, needs to happen. But yeah, that's it. Was just crazy that that was happening in you know a public locker room, and I still like just because it's a locker room. Don't mm-hmm. think you should just be walking around dick out. You know what is. Is this how you spent uh, our National Independence Day? Is this how you celebrated? <laughs> no, no. The Fourth of July was this weekend. Yeah, no. This happened yesterday. Uh, yesterday was that's July seventh. Correct. That's the July seventh. That's Correct. not. This guy is not exercising his freedom. I actually did nothing on July fourth. Like nothing, nothing. Nothing. Like literally, you didn't see any fireworks? Nothing. Well, I saw fireworks just because they were around. I didn't like. Right. I mean, like, I went a little bit towards downtown to see, like, my friend, but, like, downtown was unbelievably packed. Like, like it was insane. Oh, really? Yeah, so I don't think that, like, we would have really done well down there. So, like, we were, we mm-hmm. were like, a little outside the city. So we could still see everything, but, like, I don't know. I don't really count that as, like, doing something for the 4th, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, like, the 4th, you go out, you have burgers, dogs, and, you know, you do the whole... Yeah, I didn't have that thing. this year. It sucked. I love a That's good crazy. burger and a dog. Did you do you it know? last year? Have, yeah. Is this the first year you you haven't done anything? Well, I mean, we were in lockdown last year, so... Right, like, not... La- last uh, year isn't... Yeah, fun. this is the first year it's been, like, a relaxing 4th. And So I what's, it, like, what's it like being a communist? Um, You know, it actually feels really good. Yeah, Cause, like, really? I got Putin's number... Like we're gonna, I yeah, guys, guys, he's over here. Yeah, he's I'm gonna, over here. Come, I, come get him. Well, no, here's the thing. I'm setting up right now. We're gonna have like, you know how the TikTokers did that like fight night that everyone paid for. No. Okay, so there was like this, <laughs> there was like this big fight where like all the TikTokers fought each other, like did boxing matches and shit. It was so so dumb. That's sick. But they got so uh, much. I money. mean, dumb. I mean, it's dumb. No, it's awesome, but it was dumb, <laughs> and it made so much money. But oh, yeah. Okay. uh the next ballot is going to be me versus Putin. Do you think he can take on an old poopy? No. No. Because I think it's a, lo- it's a lose-lose for me. Either he beats me. Ugh, I let down my country. You know, he, mm-hmm. he kicks the shit out of me. I got to live with that forever. And if I win, I'm getting taken out right away. They, I think if you lay a finger on him. Yeah, I get, I'll get maybe maybe one punch. But the minute I make contact with his face, boom, down. So you're going to take the fall. Mm-hmm. But this is what happens. This this is why, like, I feel like the U.S. wants this to happen. Like all the psychopaths that are like live here, like who want to fight Russia, like they would have a boxing mm-hmm. match with someone from Russia. One punch, like get them angry enough to shoot the boxer. Then another sniper shoots that sniper, and then it just all shoots like shots all start out going. War. Yeah, it like starts in a fucking Miami arena. Like that's where the war starts. <laughs> It's Aaron fights Putin, and Aaron starts World War III. Yes. By accident. I'd go down in history, so that's, I mean, sponsored by I'd Just One sure. Fern. I, dude. World War I III would... sponsored by Just One Fern. <laughs> <laughs> World War III brought to you by <laughs> Just One Fern. Or, <laughs> there's, like, a battlefield, and we're, like, in a little tower, like, dick- <laughs> commentating the war that's happening. <laughs> Like the chess. Welcome game. to another episode of Just One Fern. Uh, we just lost at least seventy guys. Um, it was pretty gruesome. Yeah. Uh, Ten thousand plus side. Only a hundred injuries this time. So it was <laughs> only than a, yesterday. only a hundred injuries. And a- Aaron, Aaron, I heard that you hurt your toe last week. Tell me more about that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, we're sick. <laughs> we of wouldn't talk about, about these guys. <laughs> yeah, we got our brothers face down in the mud. But <laughs> t- 
tell me about tell me about what's going on with you, Aaron. I'm, I'm much more interested. But that's the thing. It's like that wouldn't even be what war would be. War would end in two seconds. It would just be nuclear. Like it would, shit would blow up. It would be negotiations think, and blowing up shit. You think everybody would just die? Not everyone, but like most people. Who, who yeah. would? What would happen? Because like here's the thing: dead. they would start bombing. In my opinion, they would start by bombing like a smaller city, like both both parties, like the mm-hmm. U.S. or Russia. They would bomb a smaller part as like a warning, negotiate, negotiate, and then if that falls through, they're just gonna hit New York, L.A., like. Nashville, mm, Miami, like mm-hmm. they're gonna hit Washington D.C. Obviously, they hit everything. So like, that's and then what I think do we happen. hit back? Would we hit back? Uh, I mean, yeah, we kind of have to. I think I feel like I at think, that point it would be like, uh, all right, you're gonna destroy me, I'm gonna destroy you. Like we're going mm, out together. Yeah, kind of thing. yeah, yeah. Mutually assured destruction. Yes, yeah. And I also think Japan would just go because China would be like, yeah, everybody else is distracted. Um, oh, one hundred percent. China Japan. would fuck it. Japan. China's biggest like Christmas present they could ever receive is a war between yeah. the U.S. and <laughs> Russia. Are you kidding me? They have been ready for war for years. They're like the little brothers world superpower. They're like, you know, man, we're tired of killing our own people. We want to kill some <laughs> others. <laughs> like, that's what and trust thinking. me, we. We we will kill our own people if that's who we have to kill. Because we have to that's, kill somebody. Yeah, yeah. We don't mind. We don't mind. It's just a little, it's a little boring. A little not fun. Like I want something spicy. I want to kill some somebody else. Yeah. Japanese. I'm gonna kill the Indians. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there it's it's crazy. Like that we just all like somehow like coexist, and we all like we travel to different places. But like, literally, one thing could happen, and then we want to kill each other. What? Aaron, Blows did you my know? Mind. Did you know? Uh, I found this out recently. A statistic: mm-hmm. every century, you know, like the 1900s, 1800s, 1700s, mm-hmm. for like I ever, there have been at least two major conflicts in the world, like large destructive wars that kill a lot. At of least people. two. There's got to be like a, at least five. At least two. Wow. There's there's more sometimes like. Last century, we had or good old uh, WW1, like, WW2. If you go, like, way, way back, like, you know. The, well, the we've had, we've had so many. I'm just thinking strictly 1800 through 2000, like, and even 2000, like, the 2000s already. But I'm, but I'm like, talking major, so major things. wars. Like, Vietnam isn't a major, major war. That's <laughs> us. You're going to piss Vietnam. off Harold at the gym. <laughs> 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 He's going to be mad about that. <laughs> My my brother. This is my next. Well, Viet, uh, Vietnam. I would. My consider... brother died in Vietnam, and he's dead now. And you should have done something. <laughs> is that better? <laughs> something. I love that you did like a little K at the end of that. Um, something. But yeah, I don't know. There's always been just wars. No matter what, there will always be wars happening, even if like we're not involved in it. But we're the USA, so we're going to be involved in it every time because. Yes. We have so many yes. fucking insane people that just want to be a part of wars all the time. So uh, who's where's the next war, Aaron? The the next just one for sponsored war. Mm-hmm. Um. Well, you know what I would love to see. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Pick your favorites. <laughs> Let me pick my favorite. Who do you want to see die? <laughs> no, I don't want to see die. I, I'm thinking like back to like fights. I want to see like Zuckerberg fight like Bezos. Like that's what like I want yes. I want like Company the nerds wars. to fight. Yeah, 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 yeah. I want like the Amazon battle warehouse Amazon is- <laughs> to yeah to fight to fight Facebook nerds. Like to fight just Facebook all, nerds. and or you know Bill Gates. Like just all of those really rich ass people. Like Bill Gates fighting Elon Musk, I'd pay five thousand dollars to see that. Five thousand dollars to see don't, that fight. Don't you think Elon Musk might just like break his hip, like break Bill Gates's hip? I don't care. And Whatever happens, like, I will watch and I will love it. I will love every second of it. Okay, and it would be amazing. That's what. I, that's the war that I want. I want the war between billionaires, mm. right? And so that they're just distracted. No, I'm ready. You know what? If somebody's got to go. Exactly. Might as well be the rich. Eat the rich. That's eat what I. Rich. That's yes. what I want to say. Them. Let's let's eat them. Eat them. Correct. Would you eat? Would you eat Bill Gates's picky? <laughs> no, I would not. <laughs> I don't. 
You what wouldn't. is that question? Would you eat Bill Gates' pinky? No, I would I, not. <laughs> you would? Why not? It's Bill Gates' pinky. It's not that much. First of all, it's not that much meat. So I don't. I don't know what's like. It's, I know it's his not pinky. that big of a commitment. It's like a mini corn, like one of those mini <laughs> corn husks. Um, we can throw it in the microwave. We got. Uh, we got pop. <laughs> pop pinky. <laughs> <laughs> no, I would not eat it. I would not. I would rather rob his home. <laughs> but you would rob his home, but you wouldn't eat his pinky. Correct. That's fucked up. Unless I get his home, then maybe. I would eat his pinky. Oh, well, I'm not surprised you would eat his pinky. If there, if if it came to it, we were at that point where world's gone to hell. We're we're hanging we're hanging the billionaires on Fox News live, and uh, they're cutting off fingers for people to taste. Yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna have a pinky or two. Have you been watching like The Walking Dead recently? <laughs> like, I feel like <laughs> these are all things that you've seen on like some sci-fi like They're, movie uh, or show. This last one was something that somebody told me in college. Do you, do you remember Just Sense? Did you ever meet him? I don't think so. No. There's no way he watches this. Uh, he is he is somebody I met at college. Mm-hmm. Um, he's o- the type of person you only meet at college. Okay, he was a diehard anarchist anarchist oh. communist which by the way those almost like, don't really go together because yeah. you got to pick a side yeah you gotta um, pick one at that point but he like he slowly got more and more radical as i like got to know him yeah and eventually he's like yep um pretty soon we're gonna have to be on fox news uh cutting off the heads of the of politicians live on on air and i was like yep yeah, let's. Um, <laughs> you let me know how that goes. Yeah, um, I'm gonna go I'll lock watch. myself in my room. I'll see you. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna go buy. Uh, I'm gonna go buy a bodyguard. Actually, not that you're coming after me, but I'm scared. <laughs> this guy scared me. I was. I was. Like, I'd be terrified. I mean, that's horrible. Like, why? Would... He was just. He was dead serious. He said that yeah. to me, and I started laughing. And mm-hmm. he wasn't. There was no joke. That's not surprising. Um, he was a nice guy. Otherwise, that's good. I'm I liked glad. him. I mean, it's, I with him a couple times. this episode has gotten oddly like political satire. Like, I kind of like it. That was fun. That was a good segment that was there, fun. you know. That was fun. Uh, yeah. But uh, kind of moving into other things. What have you been up to, you know, this week? Oh, little old me. Yeah, little old you. <laughs> um, well, I did see fireworks because mm-hmm. I'm a patriot. Nice. Mel um, Gibson hates the Jews. Yes. Yes, good for him. That's bad. That is not good. Um, I went. I saw the fireworks, and I heard them first, and it scared the shit out of me. Mm-hmm. I don't know if you remember how loud fireworks are, like, in loud. person. Mm-hmm. I thought there was a bomb going off. Well, And so did my friends. We were all like, what? Ah! What? Do you know the point of fireworks? I know they are tech. They're gunpowder. They're bombs. Technically, well, they're supposed to be like loud, reminiscent of like warfare. What aren't they supposed to be like, like reminiscent of of warfare? I don't. I thought they were just like, like it's like the explosions. I mean, they are for celebration. I think that's what they became. But I feel like originally they were just like designed for warfare. I mean, they're they are explosives. That is true. They are explosive. I, like I said, I could be wrong. I'm questioning myself in my own mind, but I'm almost positive that that's what they're for. That's like that's what they represent. Uh, all right. Um, down in the comments, we would mm-hmm. like uh, people to vote on the side of uh, Aaron, who is taking the Mulan side of this, mm-hmm. um, and I am taking the other side, which Mushu. is beauty. Beauty and the Beast. Oh, okay. Um, or Mushu. Mm-hmm. He is a beauty and he is a beast. Correct. So uh, go ahead. Let us know. Mulan or Mushu. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I no, know. I think you're right. But I was blown away. I was blown away because one hit me in the forehead. Mm-hmm. Um, no, that, it really surprised me how loud they were. It really did. What, what else <laughs> did I have written down? I love um, that. That was your whole story. <laughs> That's my favorite part. You were just no, like, no, I'm not... I'm not done. I'm okay, not done. good. I was gonna say you were like, <laughs> just like yeah. I mean, 
I couldn't believe how loud they were. And that's like, that's <laughs> it. Just, oh my God. I, it really, I'm, it, I thought about how loud fireworks were for at least like a half hour that's after so that. That's funny. So to me, I could talk about it that long. But yeah. um, it made me realize, because I, I don't know, before I went and saw them, I had this idea. I'm like, I don't really like fireworks that much. Mm-hmm. And then in the beginning, I'm like, what? And I, I think every fireworks show goes this way. You go, what? Man, fireworks are so cool. Like, this mm-hmm. is so, like, big and, like, fun and pretty. And then, then like, five minutes later, you're like, this is still all right. Mm-hmm. I'm still watching this. And then the next five minutes go by, and you're like, I am bored. Yep. I am really bored. And people are still clapping for some yeah. reason. People By the way, why clap for fucking fireworks? People love fireworks. I think that is the dumbest thing. It's I mean, it's like clapping for a plane landing. Like I, <laughs> those yeah, people need they to blew be in up. jail. Those people should be in jail. <laughs> clapping when a plane lands, you idiot. <laughs> God, I'm like yay, we didn't die. Yay, we didn't everyone. Die. So I think it's the same thing. Because yeah, I don't the people think... that clap for fireworks. What are you clapping for? It's like those people are crazy. They're like, yay, explosives. It will be any fireworks show. People go nuts. It they could be like crazy. one guy with a Roman candle. Look. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. Woo. Mm-hmm. Yeah, people maybe go. that's just maybe that's just my uncle, Uncle Geeka. Um yeah. <laughs> I was trying to make up a name. And it it really did. Well. <laughs> <laughs> You're on a roll today. I'm so proud of you. Thank you. Um, <laughs> mess. Uh, but I don't even think you've continued your story. Like I feel, <laughs> I feel like we've gotten. To... <laughs> Maybe we should just move on from my section. Uh, to the news. Let's see the news. What we got in the news, Aaron? Do you um, actually want to move on from your segment? I I thought that this was more interesting, and it's not. Um, <laughs> I was like, oh, talk about fireworks, and fireworks are weird, right? They're not. Well, they are weird. <laughs> I mean, I agree. They're like the fact that we all gather to watch explosives just blows my mind. But it is what it is. But uh, the fact that we clap bothers me. It bothers me too. Why are you clapping? Why are you like woo? Like oh, they're dead. You the act fireworks. It are like dead. gives people an excuse to act like they're like if you're a five year old kid and you're watching fireworks, you should be in awe. Like what yes. the fuck is going yes. on? Yes, you should be questioning life. It is magic. But when you're an adult, what you go? Mm, yes, very mm-hmm. good. Those are nice. Like oh, I saw saw that one ten times already. Like cool. <laughs> this, Let's. Move this is on. the fifteenth time I've seen. I've seen it go woo woo, and then your eardrums are blown by the end of the finale. Yeah, no, I had to put my hands over my ears. Um, yeah, finales. I looked like a little girl, and I felt I felt emasculated. But mm-hmm. I saved my drummy drums, so that's good. Yeah, you always gotta put those drums first. Um, so things that are happening in the news, uh, we gotta talk about the man, the myth, the legend, Joey Chestnut. Um, he has won God, his 14th him on the earth. Mm-hmm. He has won his 14th championship. As that's not in a row, is it? No, but it's his 14th championship. That's a he's broken his own record. I think like 11 times. Jesus. Mm-hmm. Do you know how he's inhuman? Do you know how much, how many hot dogs he ate in 10 minutes? Do you have the, do you have, I have, it? I have the stat. He in ate, 10 minutes? In 10 minutes, he ate 76 hot dogs. No. Hot dogs Does that include and, buns? and buns. Yes. 76? Yep. 76. I, I ate two hot dogs the other day, and I was like, yeah. wow, that was a lot of food. Well, because here's the thing. You're only supposed to, like, have, if you eat one hot dog, that's, like, as much as you should have for, like, a year. Like <laughs> you're not supposed to eat hot dogs. Like hot dogs are not good for you. But and but they <laughs> this guy had 76 <laughs> in 10 minutes. Like now he's got to be throwing up after that, yeah. right? You like, have he's gotta to be. be pulling trig in the in the portage. I, I heard a I heard someone else talking about it on on a podcast that I listened to, where he like met Joey Chestnut once and like was at like saw him like actually compete in one of these things, and. 
afterwards, he like came up to him. He's like, "Hey, we're going, we're going drinking later. You want to come?" And they're like, "Like he was like, what are you talking about? You just ate like seventy hot dogs. Like you can't. You're gonna go drink now." He's like, "Yeah, I got a good base." What? <laughs> like he has a good base in his stomach, so now he can go no. drink a shit. <laughs> Joey, I thought it was he is reverse. a legend. He asked Joey. Joey went out drinking yes. after eating seventy hot dogs. Correct. Yeah, he he goes out and parties every single time he like he finished like eating all this shit. Wow. Right. That's insane. I yeah. You know what, Aaron? I might. That's my name. I think. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, I, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Is, um, I I. We'll go on record right now. I would like mm-hmm. to do a hot dog eating contest with you. <laughs> really? Yes. Oh, Lucas, I will, f- I will vomit so hard, but I'm down. Yeah, I'll write it down right now. Hot dog eating do we, contest. What? What is? What will happen? Um, what, what are, are we, we doing? Are we doing ten minutes? Yeah, I think we should do the contest. I want to do it. Okay, and how? Uh, Loser has to, loser has to dr- drink a lot of beer afterwards. I don't know what's <laughs> like. What's what would be a good? Well, what does? Ending? Here's the thing. I think what does desig- since we're not professionals, I think what designates the loser is who throws up, not like who doesn't eat the most. <laughs> like, you think someone's gonna throw up? I will. <laughs> There's no question. If I tried it, and the thing is, because I'll go hard. I'm a competitive person. I will eat as many hot dogs as I can in 10 minutes, but I will throw them all up. (laughs) Then you lose. Then you're going to lose. Well, here's the thing. I don't even know if you, like, could throw them up because when you're eating them, you can't be chewing them if you're eating, like, 76 in 10 minutes. Like, how much of it are you actually chewing? I think you're chew, swallow, chew, swallow, chew, like, bite, swallow, bite, swallow, bite, swallow. Well, he's, like... I saw like I a video. He's see. like he's like shoving him in like as if his throat is just open. What? Yeah, it's like crazy. he's chugging a beer? No, like no, he's like throwing the hot dogs like into his mouth and like it's insane how this guy operates. I don't get it. I I want to see this. Yeah, it's it's kind no, of No, no, he's taking bites. He's taking bites. Yeah, but don't you see how like fast like it's going in? Like it's insane. I'm going to pull this up if anybody wants to see. Um, yeah, go to our YouTube and watch this episode. Uh, if you have not yet, please subscribe to our YouTube um, and yes. uh, follow us and like us on Spotify. We're going to watch a little bit of Joey Chestnut right here. Um, is this the one? I don't think this is the one from this year, but it doesn't matter. This says 76 right here. 76 hot dogs. Oh, maybe it is this year. Okay. July 4th, 2021. Yeah. yeah. Okay, cool. So, there's 23 seconds left. That he's on his 73rd hot dog. He is shoving them in. So he's eating them. Prop like his last few hot dogs. He probably still eats faster than we would eat. Is he wetting them down? Yeah, or, he, I think they're he, wet. He dips them into the water. Wouldn't that make it harder to eat? Well, it makes it slide down quicker. I think. Slide down, you gilly. How okay? So s- how many how many do you think you could eat in ten minutes? Well, if Chestnut can do seventy one, seventy six, seventy six, and Breeden, whoever the fuck this is, can do thirty nine. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna say Nate the standard Nathan. Oh, oh, the standard Nathan hot dog. I'm going to I'm going to say 6 7 or 8. I was going to say the same. Yeah, you think it'd be the mm-hmm. same? I think I could How many I hot dogs get seven. would we have to have in front of us? Do you think we'd have to have like we each have like 20? We have the option of eating up to 10 cuz I don't think any of us I don't think either of us going to eat more than 10. The last I was thinking we could have like 12 in front of us. There's no way. There's no way I'm eating more than eight. So wait, twelve each or twelve? Yeah, there's twelve each. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Twelve each in front of us, and the standard Nathan's hot dog. Mm -hmm. Are we doing standard Nathan's? Well, we have to. 
Okay. We got to do Nathan's, right? <laughs> ballpark dogs. We got to do ballpark Natural dogs. Natural casing. All right. I'm down for this. I will, I, like I said, I will throw up, but I might win. Because, like what I said, it depends on what we count as winning. If winning means they're all down when the time is done, then I might win. But if it means. Yeah, you can't it, throw you, up before the time's done. Okay. You can throw up after. Okay. But they have to be down by the end of the 10 minutes. Gotcha. I'm t- I'm down for this. I think this would be great. Let's do it. I'm, I love this. Perfect. Um, we could do more eating challenges, too. I am very down. I'm very down. I love I, food. Tomorrow, here's why I thought of this, mm-hmm. um, because you brought up the hot dog thing. But tomorrow, I'm also going to do a eating challenge, I think, in Albany. Uh, okay. And I'll, I will let you know what happens. Like a professional eating challenge? No, there's like a big breakfast competition. You ever see like man versus food? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm going to try to do one of those. Like a half a pound of bacon and like Mm -hmm. 10 waffles, that type of thing. That's the problem with like all the eating challenges that I've seen is that like I could do them if I had like an hour. You know, like I yeah. the fact that they have to like finish them in like minutes, like so like little amount of time is crazy. So like. There was one I saw that was like ghost pepper wings in three minutes. Like you had to do like 10 of them. Like that's really quick. I don't That's know if I can so eat 10 many. regular wings. I just like my mouth minutes. started like burning when you said ghost pepper wings. Like <laughs> that. Have you had anything ghost pepper? I have. Like, have you had anything? Mm-hmm. You have. What'd you have? I had, um, do you know those really, really hot, like s- single Doritos? Like it was in like, yeah. a packet. It was just like a hot chip. I had that and it was atrocious. I couldn't, I can't imagine eating 10 fucking wings. Yeah, no, that sounds insane. By the way, when's your next hot chicken? I got to get out and do it. Um, not at a great spot with cash money right now. Um, just a lot of bills going down. So, oh, um, shit. Okay. but I am trying to get out and do that ASAP. Um, I have so many okay. places on my list, just a ridiculous amount of places. So, and my friend is down here now, so I should have someone to film them. So, oh, awesome! That will be awesome. That'll be great. Uh, in case anybody doesn't know, Aaron does hot chicken. Mm-hmm. Uh, reviews. I do from the hot classic hot chicken in Nashville. Mm-hmm. Um, it's very we have good. One up right now. Do we have one up? Two. Do we have two up? So check out both of those. Definitely go. Want to watch, watch Aaron? They're on our things in his mouth. Yes, correct. They're on our Instagram and our YouTube channel. So check them out. Yes. Um, but that's kind of all I had for news. Do you have anything else? Um, good news. Good news for New York State Thruway members, members Ooh. of the Thruway. Uh, they're redoing almost every service area with Chick Fil A's, Whoa, Smash Burgers, uh, Smash lots of really big. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, um, and I'm excited because I I'm sick and tired of Roy Rogers. Uh, I don't know if anybody here knows what Roy Rogers is, mm-hmm. but it's bad. It's bad, and it's not good. And checkers Act- actually. It's- Okay, I like checkers. Don't do know. Like you don't like checkers? No. It's overpriced. Chess sure. is better. <laughs> <laughs> but also, no, the, the the burgers suck there. No, the burgers do not suck. Yes, they do. I can't stand checkers. The burgers are good. No. And the fries are amazing. No, but I do hate Roy Rogers, so I'm on I'm on Okay, you're with me. Roy Rogers. With you. Yeah. And it's not that it's bad, it's just that it's so average it's mm-hmm. like the perfect five i'm so neutral it's just like oh i need fuel in my body yeah and i don't want to taste anything mm-hmm. that's what i put in my body is roy rogers yeah well i mean i agree with you but here's the thing i think all i'm glad that they're redoing all of them because you shouldn't have like pizza shops in like rest areas because you're trying to eat on the go right like you're not you're not sitting at a rest area really like who's actually doing that if you're on like a 14 hour drive maybe but like if you're just say for you like you're driving from your place to fredonia yeah you're gonna stop like maybe twice and you're not gonna stop for long you just want to grab something to eat quick and head back on the road so yeah chick-fil-a is perfect chick-fil-a is great i feel i feel like that's gonna cause hella traffic because people yeah. are deprived of Chick-fil-A in upstate New York. Yeah, I think people are going to get it. on the highway mm-hmm. to go to Chick-fil-A. Yes, um, I agree. 100% I'm worried about the quality coming down, though. I think that might be a thing. It might. It might. But I do have to say this. Every time I ever got, like, rest stop McDonald's, 
it always slapped. Always it does. So it good. does. Okay, it's a good point. I don't know why. It just always does. You're right. You know what else slaps? Mm-hmm. Um, girl bands. They do. And have you, I've been thinking a little bit about like girls I would have on like a girl band because we did the build a boy band thing. We did a build a um, boy band. So I was thinking we should do another, we should do a build a girl band thing. I'm down. Let's do it. Let's hop right into uh, it, everyone. Yeah. Yeah. Let's do, uh, because the last one, you know, that one blew up. We got over a million views on that. Uh, we got that. so many views. Did really, really well. Mm-hmm. So here is our girl band. Here's our girl uh, band. Um, <laughs> but yeah, thank you to everyone who actually like made their own like build a boy band that we put out yeah, on, a sec. on Instagram. That was awesome. We really appreciate all the support and, you know, everything you guys are doing. Uh, just really quickly, again, follow us on social media, Instagram, Twitter, and we'll hopefully put out another thing and you can build your own girl band. Tell us if we pick the right people, the wrong people, and we'll move from there. Uh Lucas, you went first last time, so should I go first this time? I, I think it. I think it's only fair. Um, and by the way, Aaron, mm-hmm. this time I'm very prepared. All right, I thought about it. It's weird though, because I'm I'm not as prepared this time. But good for me. That's good for me. But I'm ready. Okay, let's hear it. All right, from the pool of any artist ever, Aaron's first pick for a girl band is. Mm-hmm. My number one pick, Demi Lovato. Do you want to try? Do you want to try again? Nope. Do you want to pick somebody else? Nope. Do you want to? Do you want to tell me why? It's, your I would first love pick is Demi why. Lovato. <laughs> I would love to tell you why. Have you ever listened to her album "Tell Me You Love Me"? No. Lucas. She can belt like nobody's business. Yeah? It's crazy. She is such an underrated singer. Like, really? You think so? I really do. Because people, uh, she's had so many issues in her life, you know, with drug abuse and, you know, addiction and so many things that have happened to her. Mm-hmm. And, like, she has, you know, that Disney stigma or in her earlier career. Yeah. But Demi Lovato... Her belting voice is insane. Like she has such a powerful voice. Really? And yeah, it's crazy. I highly suggest listening to that album, by the way. It's what what awesome. is it again? Tell me you love me. Tell me you, I love you. Thank you. Um, <laughs> but yeah, Demi and I she almost wasn't my first pick, but I just feel like first pick. I like I'm there are a lot of people you could pick my other two that are going to be my next two picks i think you'll also be surprised about like my picks are very strategic though shouldn't those be like later on don't you want to like pick somebody i'm not going to pick like later on because i definitely you know i wasn't going to pick lovato i know that's how confident trying to make things that's how confident you are okay i i'm saying that demi has a very underrated and Mm -hmm. you know career and people you know view her as for her issues that she's had Mm -hmm. instead of looking at her successes and i'm gonna take her because her voice has gotten just has never gotten worse it has always gotten better significantly like camp rock she was okay you know like it wasn't amazing it was camp rock but (laughs) her like i said her most recent songs she she can sing she's emotional when she sings it's really good okay Okay, you know what? Respect. And I'm building a girl band here. I'm not trying to say like, you know, I'm I'm trying to build something. You know, I need a few other people. I'm not mm. saying she's like my my front person. She's, but she's not my first, first pick. Uh, okay, she's she is the cornerstone of this girl band. Correct. You're saying correct. Okay, okay. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and come out with who I think is my front person. Mm-hmm. Uh, and that's gonna be Ariana Grande. Okay. Let me cross her off my list real quick. Yep. There you go. Uh, amazing. Mm-hmm. Amazing singer. Mm-hmm. Uh, cute. She's got... Very cute. Uh, she, I feel like she's got big like girl band qualities where people would mm-hmm. be like, oh, she's the cute one. She's the one with the fucking sweater and shit. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? Yes. Yes. <laughs> um, 
She's Plus, amazing. Um, she was on my list. She's I was gonna so pick good. Her. Yeah. Whistle tones. Oh. Killer. Like what the fuck? Amazing. Aaron, if nobody knows this about Aaron from t- uh, hanging out with him personally, every day he attempts to do a whistle tone. I really do. Every single day. I really do. And I've Sometimes heard him get I hit one. It. I've hit him. And I've and it happens. Mm-hmm. It hurts. So, does it hurt? <laughs> it hurts afterwards. Like I'll be sitting, <laughs> laying in bed, and be like, "Why did I do that?" Because now I'm in pain. <laughs> but can, Ariana can Grande is a little... fantastic pick. Like she, she Thank was you. in my top three. I'm not gonna lie. So uh, okay, okay. So great pick. So that's what I'm saying. If no, you but did, you're right. She's you cute. She's like, she owns the stage. She's you know, yeah. an amazing presence. Bad She's ass. A really, really good pick. And you know, but I had to go with my heart on that one. I had to pick. I had to pick Demi. Mm. So. Yep. All right. Well, I appreciate. <laughs> I appreciate it. <laughs> what was the, just? <sighs> well, <laughs> like that's what you did. <laughs> all right. I don't know what that was. I don't know what that was. Um, Sorry. All right. My number two pick. Did you just drop everything? I dropped a pen. But I caught it. Quick hands. Can't. You uh, did not catch that I, pen. I heard it hit the floor. No, it hit. It hit my table. Oh. And then was I, your table it like, aluminum? It like, it like bounced and I like caught it. Oh. Mm-hmm. It's called being an nice. athlete. Look it up. <laughs> um, <laughs> he built my it. next built my it. next pick. I mean, is it a surprise to anyone? Beyonce. I'll cross her off my list. Queen B. Of course Queen I'm Queen B. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, you gotta. That's a she's Well, that's the thing. I thought you were gonna take here, this was my plan. I was gonna take Demi. Mm-hmm. And then I was gonna see if you picked ariana or beyonce because i knew you would take one of them yeah they're like yeah top. they're like top and i they're top dog so i knew i was going to lose one anyway because if i chose ariana you were probably going to take beyonce i probably would have yeah i so. probably would have uh because you got i think you're gonna have to have one or the other and i think i went with ari because i'm worried about queen b being a bit too much of a queen about it you know what i mean mm. i think as, well, she's my front person for she's, sure Oh yeah, she has to be. She's in absolutely the front. has to be. I mean, of course. Okay. Beyonce's a great. Like pick. I said, I think Demi and her would get along really well too. So. Yeah, I think so. I think so. Um. All right. I'm down with that. Uh. Here's my next. Here's mm-hmm. my next pick. And this might be surprising, but okay. I think I think she's known to be a uh, team player. Mm-hmm. And. When she needs to shine, she shines. Okay. That's Olivia Rodrigo. <laughs> she was my Dorothy last time. I didn't even time. think of her. Really? You didn't, I think, didn't of even think of Olivia? No, I did not. Oh, I should have waited. Wow. That's a fantastic pick. I think she's, because she does the Disney Channel stuff. You know yeah. what I mean? They train them like slaves. So you mm-hmm. know she's good at everything. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and I think, I think she, obviously she can hold her own. Mm-hmm. Um, and I think she's got that like. It's smart. You're pulling that younger audience in. It's a younger audience for mm-hmm. sure. It's a younger audience. Uh, she's a bit more relatable, I think, yeah. than most mm-hmm. than most of my other picks are gonna be. Um, you got two really so, short, thin girls on your on your squad. You're like a really petite squad. Yeah, we might be so the petites. Yeah, uh, <laughs> this might be the name of the group. I hated that. that was <laughs> Oh my god. No, that Olivia Rodrigo is a fantastic pick because you have that you. that um first of all, she's clearly a great songwriter. She knows how to mm-hmm. write just bomb Which shit. blows me which pissed me off when she came out those songs because it's I'm upsetting. like Yeah. You know, I've been doing this mm-hmm. probably little, longer and mm-hmm. you're way better. So <laughs> it sucks. Um but like I said, you have that audience that you're bringing in from her and with Ari's just massive audience. Yeah. It's perfect. And I think I think they can find common ground between the two of them. Yeah, I think so too. Um, because I feel like Olivia Rod- Rodrigo would just like bow at Ariana Grande's feet. Oh, for sure, for sure she would. Yeah, but I think I think there's neither of them are too dominant, mm-hmm. you know. Yeah, which is good. So who's who? who are you picking? My next? number three, um, and this this might be shocking, but I have a really really good reason. Um, okay. And I, I love her to death. I always have been a huge fan. Um, Megan Trainer. Oh, I didn't even think of her. That is a good pick. Megan that is Trainor. a good pick. She though. is a That's songwriter me. for literally everyone on earth. Mm-hmm. She writes a ridiculous amount of songs for everyone. So, like, she is perfect to have on the yeah. group. Um, she's a great producer and 
she just does is, she produce she does she produces i didn't a lot. know that yes um she's just amazing like i really think that her songs are are so good and like she's written so for so many genres and so many different yeah. artists it's crazy like i i feel like she's versatile. she's so you know underrated i just think she's amazing so i will take her all day every day and mm. kind of put her a little bit in the back um yeah because yeah. demi and and beyonce are definitely more front compared to her but she is she would run the shit behind the scenes for sure yeah 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 because like i i mean i don't know i don't know how much writing the other two really do uh do i feel they? like they do they do a lot for sure but i feel oh, like do they but also like i don't know how much production they do i doubt much i doubt yeah. much i know beyonce writes a lot i think demi writes a Does lot she? Yeah. Oh, okay okay but they all i mean sense. they all have teams of people but i think megan just has written the most for other people and yeah, well, she needs to know how to make certain people shine. So that's that actually makes a lot of sense. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I didn't know. You know what? I didn't think about finding any like songwriters that write for other people. That is smart. Just something I thought of. It's just a smart thing to do. <laughs> All right, what's yours? Uh, my third pick. Mm -hmm. Um, my third pick is gonna be uh, Rihanna. Ooh, good pick. Good Thank pick. you. Thank crossing you. her off there uh <laughs> good pick that's a fantastic pick why first, why rihanna first of all i'm in love with her okay um she is uh but she is for me like the most attractive female singer okay um besides my girlfriend mm -hmm. of course who's you know much more attractive mm -hmm. um, in every way okay uh Let's and then on. what Let's move on. Move on from what? My girlfriend? Because you want to move on from my girlfriend, Aaron? We are all, you serious? We all know that I'm hotter. You yeah, well, you're not a female singer, are you? No, I'm not. Then what are you worried about? I'm just worried. You gonna, <laughs> about us? I are you worried about us? What we have? What you and me have? You're the one stressing this thing. I can't do this podcast alone. I can't do it. Please don't leave. Bye. <laughs> <Could> you... <gasps> hey, no! everybody, what's up? Oh. <laughs> I'm, you know, I'm going to take off again. I, we, I walked in on a weird All right, moment. perfect. Um, are you done talking about Rihanna? <laughs> you, didn't, you didn't say your no, second thing. I no, interrupted okay, so, you. So Rihanna, yeah, I, I love Rihanna. Obviously, she's a great dancer, great, amazing singer. Mm -hmm. um, and she's definitely not. I I don't feel like she's somebody who needs to be in the front or like needs to be like writing the songs or uh stuff okay. but she but she's like kind of like living that way where I think she would take a her spotlight when she has it mm -hmm. and dance her ass off the whole time. Oh, of course. You know. Yeah. Um, I mean and she in my opinion is probably the best female artist of the early 2000s like along with Beyoncé. Yeah, yeah, it was like the sure. two of them. Yeah. Um, so yeah, when you pick Beyonce, pick. I'm like, okay, I gotta pick Rihanna. Great, great pick. Like I said, mm -hmm. she was on my list. Fantastic pick. All right, my next one, my fourth pick is Tori Kelly. Who is that? You don't know Tori Kelly? No. Oh, she's so good. Like her, I'm looking her up. Her runs are unbelievable. It's really? crazy. Yeah. So her voice and her vocal control is why I pick her specifically because she can sing any harmony ever. Like there's this video of her singing with Jacob Collier. And you know, do you know Jacob Collier? He's like, yeah. Yeah. Like the most brilliant musician alive. Um, so they did a song together and he would like, they were doing like different versions of like the same run, but like starting on a different note. And he was recording. Oh. He would, he would like, he would like record, sing her first note. She would do the run from that note. Stop, like press a button. Next one, sing a different note. She'd do the run from that note. It was insane. Like so I want to see that. Crazy. That sounds yeah. so cool. It's so cool. I'll send it to you later. But like yeah. everyone, go check it out if you haven't. I think it's on like Jacob Collier's Instagram or something. Just mind-blowingly good at how amazing of a musician she is. Like she is so smart. 
and she would be amazing to have on the songwriting team and mm. to like sing harmonies and shit and like write harmonies. Like she's basically yeah. like my uh like my Billy Joel slash Freddie Mercury of my boy band. Like wow. this is her because okay. she's that good at vocals and all that shit. That's sick, actually. I think that's a great pick. Thank you. And how many is that our fourth? This is your fourth coming up, and then we got one more. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so I have two more. Correct. All right, all right. Um, yeah, you know, that's a good pick. I, I need to pick another role player like that, like what you're doing. Because you're really good at that. You always get the people that are like, like you structure the team well. I'm tr- Yeah, I try to. And you do really, really good with that. Um, so with that being the case... My next pick mm-hmm. is going to be Sia. Wow. Okay. Before you say anything, Sia's not on my list, but I thought about her while making this list, and that's a fantastic pick. Thank you. I, Thank didn't, you. I didn't know how people would feel about it, honestly, because people, some people don't like Sia, think her voice is too strange, but it's she has an amazing I voice, love so. Sia. I she love Sia. It. Yeah. Um, yeah, she's got, a, she's got like an interesting enough voice, but... I think obviously she could handle being anything else. Mm-hmm. I mean, for so long she was like background, yeah, and then decided to become like fuck this. She's a songwriter also, so mm-hmm. like that's nice to have. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm gonna do my own shit. So yeah. I don't. She's been around she, for so long too, like longer than people yeah. realize. She's like forty something. Yeah, which is insane. It's crazy. She. And I was she listening brings, to like some old music from like really early 2000s like a flow rider song and she was the like chorus singer on it and i was like no way I was like, really what? yeah it's crazy that's so weird okay that's cool that's sick yeah plus she's got that whole like th- th- there's two yeah. things she's got that whole over the eyes mm-hmm, thing mystery. going on which is really cool yeah but then she won't have to be in the front you know what i mean mm-hmm. she yeah. could be like the mysterious like yeah. character in the background you need that uh, mystery you need that dark character you know right right like uh how liam sloan uh, when we yes. had our band, he was yeah. <laughs> he, <laughs> I just I'll never forget when he came to us and he was just like, guys, I'm gonna be the guy that does nothing on stage, <laughs> and we were just like, oh, okay, like, are you you don't want to move at all? No, no, no. <laughs> and so he just <laughs> wanted to have a hat and just yeah, just blind, deadpan that's, the whole that's time. All he did, and he was lead guitarist, like yeah. <laughs> The the other like besides the other like front man. Yeah, besides the front man, like you're the person that's supposed to be the most into it. Like, <laughs> and you're choosing not to be. It's crazy. So um, that's yeah, that was really funny. But yeah, I think Sia could do something, fill a similar um uh, spot. Yeah. No, um, Sia's also songwriting. Pick. Yes. Her I'm thinking her and Olivia are doing my writing. Okay. Um and because old and new also. So you can kind of feel like there's a lot of mashup shit that can go on there. Yeah, for sure. Um all right, so my last pick. Oh, this is actually really tough because I don't. And now I have a few that I could pick from. Mm-hmm. Um, I think I have to go with. I gotta go with Aretha. I, I had her on my list. I got and... everyone wants to party with Aretha. Everyone, Aretha's so she's probably my favorite female singer, like yeah. as far as like the best that I've listened to. Yeah, I mean, <sighs> she's so I was worried she wouldn't fit with stuff, but you can find a spot. Well, that's for the her. thing. Yeah, I was thinking the exact same thing. I almost didn't pick her because I was like, oh, I don't think she'd mesh well in like a, a setting, setting of a like group, that. but like, yeah, come, it's Aretha, honestly. I would. I would some I would sometimes push Beyonce back and put Aretha in front. Like, go and Aretha. honestly, everyone you know what, wants think... to party with Aretha. That's, how, <laughs> that's the quote. Everyone knows that. What's that from? School is of Rock. Just... Yeah, yeah, yeah. It Jack is, it Black's is. like everyone <laughs> wants to party with Aretha because he's talking about like he's like you know why people love me because I'm chubby and sexy. <laughs> 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 so funny. Yeah, uh, but I yeah, think you that's know an, what I mean. She's just a powerhouse. You can't. Yeah, Come she's on. too good not to pick. She's that's too that's good the not thing. To pick. She's too good not to pick. 
Okay, I think you know people what? are going to be actually people are probably going to be upset that she's my fifth pick. Like people are going to be mad. Yeah, they will be. So they will be. She should have been one of our first picks. Yeah, but I'm also but okay with we, I'm we also okay I'm... with maybe flip, <laughs> flipping them out. <laughs> I was cheating. Put right. in front. Uh, I'm not going to cheat. I won't <laughs> cheat. People are going to be mad. People were people upset about my mad. last list. Yeah. What What were they saying? They were furious about David Archuleta. They couldn't believe it. They were like that. You picked him. Yeah. They were like. David Archuleta over like 500 other people. And I was like, listen <laughs> to the show and you'll know why. You gave a really, really good pitch for all of your artists last time. I really did. I, I went way more in depth than I did this time. And it's probably because I honestly got to, like today. I was like, oh, shit, we're doing this in like a half hour. And I totally forgot that we're doing this. And, and I need people. Yeah. But, um, <laughs> but yeah, I feel like I still whipped together a pretty great list. So anyway, give a give me your fifth pick. So here's my fifth pick. And I'll give you who I was going to pick until I heard you pick Aretha. Mm -hmm. I was going to pick Britney Spears. Free Britney. Hashtag. Hashtag free Britney. Mm -hmm. um, and now you've convinced me to pick somebody I've been eyeing the whole time. Worried that she wouldn't fit in. But I don't give a fuck. I'm picking Amy Winehouse. Okay. Listening. Yeah. Good. Pick. I love Amy. Yeah. I think she's so good. Um, she's amazing. I can't hear a word she's saying, but. I, I think she's got a great voice. Yeah, amazing. I mean, I've honestly, and I've gotten a lot of flack for this over the years. I am not a huge Amy Winehouse fan. She's overrated for sure. I, I feel when I listen to her voice, I'm, I'm like, all right, I see why people like this. It's just not for me. And that's fair. People get really upset about, of course, because people love Amy Winehouse. But oh my mm. God, great pick. If you're in a jazz okay. club with this band, Right. Yeah. And she certainly isn't a dancer, so she could kind of hang out in the back. With oh, she'd be in the back. One hundred percent. Yeah. Oh, by the way, by the way, uh, one of the benefits of having Sia on my team is mm -hmm. I get that crazy little tiny girl who does the ballet. Oh, she's not floating, floating around. The that stage. girl is crazy. <laughs> that girl's insane. Perfect. You so need that's that that's girl. the whole show right there. That's yeah. the whole show. Amazing. Uh, but yeah, I, th I think I think Amy, Amy Winehouse is a good pick, a risky pick. Risky. De Demi's a risky pick for me. Yeah. So I, she is like Aretha plus Demi as far as, uh, as far as my picks go. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I think I'm that. Kind of getting half a ha half of each. Yes, for sure. Um, and I feel like both of these obviously would sell out, but I feel like yours almost has more, you have more headliners than me. Because I chose like I Tori Kelly and like Megan Trainer's for sure a headliner. Demi Lovato for sure a headliner. But compared Not to as like big. Ari right now, like no, yeah, yeah. Well, like no. Our, Ari sells out Madison Square Garden three nights. I was in gonna a row, say, I'm sure. And you know what? Our our producer Kenny, our our yeah. video editor, he's gonna be furious. Why? Because neither of us chose two people that he loves. And who does he love? Taylor Swift. I think he loves I Taylor Swift. Picking right? Taylor Swift. No one's picking I'm not, Taylor I'm Swift. I'm not picking Taylor. I love Taylor Swift. I think I'm he loves Taylor it. Swift. And then Carly Rae Jepsen. I haven't listened to her the call me maybe whatsoever. Girl. Yeah. People I hear she actually made good music. She now. does. Like she's good. But I would come on. I'm trying to sell out a stadium here. I'm, I'm not, not Yeah, exactly. I'm not trying to look like a loser. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Kenny. Kenny. Sorry, but Kenny. He, does. he trying... loves Carly Rae Jepsen. So He'll be a little upset. But I think we both picked pretty good girl bands. Oh, I yeah, want I everyone picks. to let us know what you think. Um, definitely yell at me because I'm assuming you will. Because um, <laughs> especially after Lucas's reaction to Demi V in my first pick, I'm blown away. Um, I, I was surprised. I was very surprised. But I think we both did pretty well on that. Wait, you said you have a manager. I do have a manager. Um, Who, who's now, manager? every great, like, put together band like produced band has to have an asshole manager that whips them all into shape correct so my manager is none other than ellen degeneres <laughs> <laughs> yes that's perfect i love that manager ellen <laughs> <laughs> and i you know what i think she would be mean enough to make yeah. them all do it you're um, i mean you're definitely right I would pick uh, Martha Stewart as mine. <laughs> She'd be my manager. <laughs> well, Martha's been to jail, so I'm sure. Yeah, Martha's a bad bitch. <laughs> but... 
Martha uh, Stewart is your man. That's great. That's <laughs> could you imagine Martha Stewart and Ellen just duking it out, like trying to get the same arena for like yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> for the band? <laughs> it's mine. I had I had people on my show. I'm I was trying to decide what accent I'm I was sorry. doing. I was I Dory, know. and then Martha be like, "I smoke weed with Snoop." Like that's, and that would be the argument. And then, and then, um, and then, um, and then, um, <laughs> that's neat. and then, all um, right, he's broken. And then Ellen would uh, sacrifice one of her uh, interns. <laughs> she would on live TV. She would burn them at the stake on live <laughs> TV. Oh my god, um, that was the joke I was trying to think of. It took me that many. It took you a long time to get there. I, I mean, it was a while. It took a long time to get there, but worth it in the end. Um, worth it in the end. Anyway, that's all we got for today, guys. Thank you so much for listening. Um, if you haven't, if you're still listening on Spotify, thank you. But also watch on YouTube because some of the things that we look at, you know, it's better if you're watching because you get to see our reactions mm-hmm. to things mm-hmm. and stuff like that. So just go on our YouTube, subscribe, tell your friends to subscribe. It's really easy. You just have to click a button. Um, So thank you again for listening. Tell us what your ideal girl band would be. And uh, we will talk to you all later. Love you.